We often are asked the question, what's the difference between fall prevention, travel restraint, and fall arrest systems? The terms kind of sound the same, don't they? Each of these terms has a different meaning, so it's important to familiarize yourself with them. In a nutshell, these different systems protect workers from fall hazards in different ways. Let's break it down simply. Fall prevention systems prevent a fall from happening. Travel restraint systems keep users from being able to reach the edge. And fall arrest systems are designed to stop a fall that has already begun. Understanding the difference between these systems means you can choose the best solution for your roof. Fall prevention systems. Fall prevention systems are passive, which means workers don't have to make any changes to be compliant. You can go about your job on rooftops and be protected. Most clients prefer this system, since workers don't need to complete extra procedures before stepping on the roof. One example of this type of system is rooftop guardrail, which not only protects workers without active participation on their part, but they are not subject to inspections, testing, and certification that other systems require. Fall prevention is the safest approach to rooftop safety. However, not every scenario will allow for a fall prevention or passive system so it's helpful to learn the other options. Travel restraint systems. Travel restraint has also been called fall restraint, but in OSHA's update to 1910 subpart D, this was changed to travel restraint. This is because the system isn't restraining a fall, it's restraining travel. For that reason, we don't use the term fall restraint anymore. Travel restraint prevents workers from reaching and potentially falling over an unprotected leading edge the user is literally restricted from getting too close to the edge. What does travel restraint look like? A horizontal lifeline system is one example of travel restraint. This system allows a user to attach a lanyard or a lifeline to an anchor point and move along the system. One of the key components of the system is the lanyard. It's used to stop the worker from getting close to the edge. These lanyards are usually fixed lengths that need to withstand a force of 800 pounds. Keep in mind that a travel restraint lanyard is different than a fall arrest lanyard. Fall arrest systems. In the hierarchy of fall protection, fall arrest systems are one of the last resorts. That's because they are designed to stop a fall already in progress. It's clear the primary goal is never to put workers in this situation, but sometimes that isn't always an option. A fall arrest system is made for these type of moments. While fall arrest systems are similar to some types of travel restraint systems, they are made to handle a far greater degree of force in order to stop a fall. Fall arrest systems must stop a fall before a worker hits a surface below the work area. Because of that, a fall arrest lanyard must withstand a dead weight of 5,000 pounds. Shock absorbers are used to account for the force that accumulates from a fall. It keeps the user from sustaining serious bodily harm when the fall is arrested. Which system is right for you? It's obvious the go-to solution would be to prevent a fall instead of arresting a fall, but your goal should be to match the right system with the right roof. A guardrail system is nearly foolproof, plus you'll save on annual inspections and recertifications. But if the perimeter of your roof is really large or is a sloped roof, you'll want to consider other options. Travel restraint systems are preferable to fall arrest systems, but in certain situations, workers have no choice but to work close to the edge, making a fall arrest system the right call. Finding the right approach to your rooftop application requires a three-part formula that consists of budget, frequency of use, and the precise location of the rooftop work area. The best way to ensure a safe rooftop work environment is to choose to work with an experienced fall protection company like Diversified Fall Protection. We have the design and installation credentials to meet OSHA fall protection requirements while keeping you safe and productive. To learn more, contact the safety pros at Diversified Fall Protection at www.fallprotect.com.